Welcome back to another episode of the Washington Wizards franchise. Today we're going to be taking on the New York Knicks in the Madison Square Garden throw down, showdown, throwdown, same thing. Uh, here's a look at their lineup, of course, led now by a recent free agent pickup, Jalen Brunson, who is slightly declined since his last year's in Dallas, but he's still shooting the ball pretty well, averaging 15-6 a game. R.J. Barrett, of course, the superstar that they want to keep here. And he's, he continues to go up. He's at 22 a game. Randall's on pace to get another 18 point per game year. Mitchell Robinson is the center. Obi Toppin, Manuel Quickly, Isaiah Hartenstein. Devontae Graham traded over in a trade earlier this season for Derek Rose. Evan Fournier, Cam Reddish. And you see I second guess on Devontae Graham because I didn't realize that the trade actually went through. But yeah, it was for Derek Rose. But we'll go now to the garden here. Uh, last episode was the showdown against the defending champions, and this one is against a team that is fighting for a playing spot in the highest or the most or the best venue. Um, they're three games behind us, and they are fighting for a play-in spot. So here we are, the 20 and 24 Wizards go on the road to Madison Square Garden to take on the 17 and 28 New York Knicks. Look at the starting five for both teams. We got Morris, Beal. Advia, uh, Porzingis, and Gafford as our five. As for them, they got Brunson, Reddish, Barrett, Randall, and Robinson. Meaning in the middle will be Porzing or Gafford and Robinson here. As the tip-off is about underway here. And won by Daniel Gafford. First looks here will be on the Knicks side of the ball though. And as our defensive rebound, Julius Randall all the way shoves Morris out of the way. Gets an easy bucket for the first points of the game. Next possession for the Knicks, it's Brunson driving in, beats Porzingis, and he lays it up now 4 to nothing for the New York Knicks. They keep the ball here on their next possession, it's R.J. Barrett, and all three superstars get a bucket to start the game, as Washington could not get anything on the board. It's back to R.J. Barrett here, steps back, drives in, throws up a lob, and it's turned over. That was the first bad sight, and we had to take advantage. Bradley Beal drives and kicks out Monte Morris for three, and we cut the game down in half with our first points of the day. Going to Monte Morris. Going down to Shackton, full MVP, Daniel Gafford, and he makes his way around Brunson for an easy layup with the drop step. Six to five now. Brunson on the other end, bringing it up, and he'll dump it off to Randall, who scores easily, beating Porzingis and Morris in the pick-and-roll game. Randall has four early points and three rebounds at, to that point. Here now in the post, Gafford finds Avia for three, and he will hit it. top of the key, or I guess elbow three there. And it's eight all here early on with still six minutes to play here in the first, but Brunson drives in and gets an and one layup. Monte Morris calls for the foul there. They get the and one, of course. Bradley Beal now gets on the scoring side of things as he hits his first shot. He hits a two, of course, with his patented midi. Brunson's blocked by Porzingis on the other end. Morris running down the court. He will find Porzingis, who hustles all the way down to throw it down after getting the block. And it's now a one-point lead for the Wizards. R.J. Barrett on Avia. He loses the ball. Avia steals it. He's dribbling up now, and he will find Daniel Gafford for a big alley-oop slam here. It is 14 to 11 as they silence this Madison Square Garden, or I guess just Knicks Arena in 2K. Not really sure why they are not allowed to say Madison Square Garden, but whatever. Reddish, on the other hand, though, posterizes Abia the next possession, saying anything Gaffer can do, I can do better. Beal pump fakes a three, drives in, finds Denny Avia in the corner, and he hits a three. It's 17 to 13. Avia had six early on. Four minutes to go now with Cam Reddish, who needed to light it up, and he finds R.J. Barrett in the corner for three, and he hits it now. It's a one-point game as the Wizards take time. Now with some of the backups in here, you see Kispert double teams, but he leaves Devontae Graham wide open for three, and the Knicks reclaim the lead here with about four minutes left. Dildon Wright slowly brings up the ball here for Washington as he will find Riachi Mora. Mora just sits and waits and finds DeLon right in the backdoor cut over the smaller Devontae Graham. It's 19 all. Hartenstein goes inside, finds quickly back to Hartenstein. Carey trying to play defense on both, but he's not able to. 
It's an easy layup there for Isaiah Hartenstein. And on the other end now, or it's back quickly, quick three, no, Hartenstein rebound, but back up. It is 23-21. to 21. We now cut over to the Washington next possession. Achimura wide open for three. He hits it. It is now a one-point lead again for Washington. A lot of back and forth early on here with these two teams. 220 remaining. Obi Toppin's wide open for three. And he'll hit it and get the lead back for New York. Now it's 28-24. Quickly tipped. Stolen by Wright. Carey got the ball gave it back to Wright. Step back. Didn't work. But Carey running the floor like the big man should. Four seconds left here. Obi Toppin gets a lob to end the first half. And Wizards will try to get off the last shot. They give it to Will Barton. He's got one. He kicks it over. Kisper for three. It's just off. And it is a four-point lead for New York. 30-26 to to end the first quarter. We now go to the second quarter here where it's Bradley Beal going off. Pick and roll with Gafford. He takes the open midi. Trying to cut the lead or get the lead back, I should say, for Washington. We now got Porzingis here. He gets the ball stolen by Brunson, and Brunson will go all the way for an easy slam. Now a four-point game for the Knicks. Cut back down to two. Brunson on the other end gives it to Cam Reddish, who hands it off. to Brunson back to Reddish. Reddish will hit the tray. It is now a five-point lead here. As Washington looks to answer back, Morris pick and roll will find Porzingis, or he tried to. It was stolen by Randall the other way. Randall gets an easy dunk as Porzingis didn't even try to chase him down. Seven point game now. Beal going midi. Step back. It's open. He's going to hit it. Has six points right now. Trying to get hot here for the Wizards. Cam Reddish on the other hand, however, gets a nice little layup through the contact of Monte Morris. I don't know how Monte Morris keeps getting mismatched onto these people. Now we got Josh Green in, and he's going to call for the pick. He's going to receive it from Daniel Gafford and throw up a lob, and Gafford will just tip it in. Won't slam it down this time. Another finish there at the rim for Gafford. It makes it very easy when you can throw it up to someone like him. Almost dunked on was Avia by Cam Reddish. Reddish did end up missing a rebound by Hardenstein. Puts it up. It's a nine-point game. Off the timeout, Avia pump fakes or jab steps twice. Goes to DeLon Wright, who hits the layup over Devontae Graham. Trying to use that mismatch early on with the size. Right back, though, it goes Hardenstein over, I think that was Achimura. Making it a nine-point game. Barrett for three. We'll make it a 12-point game as the Knicks are trying to run away with the lead now. And we go now. DeLon Wright brings it up here as Washington looks to answer early now before they can extend the lead more. They go inside. Achimura wide open off the pick and roll and make it a 10-point game. We now keep a 10-point game. Devontae Graham almost air. Did he airball that? I don't know. Rebound hard side. Kicked out for Reddish. He hits the three. Now it's a 13-point game. Abia with four seconds left. He's got to do something. He hits the corner. Achimura. Gets the three right back here as he is eight early on. Ten points with 25 seconds left. RJ Barrett, wide open paint for him. He'll easily score. And the final shot of the half, right, drives, has to throw up something. Gets it to burn and carry for some reason. Yeah, that's not going to end. Well, but New York takes a 12-point lead at half, 53-41. to 41. See, Avia was our star player, but Cam Reddish, 12 points, threw everybody off here. As he was not expected to do much this game. We all expected RJ, Brunson, and Randall. But kill a cam. He's coming out big right now here in the garden. RJ Barrett starts the second half for the Knicks as he hits a three to make it a 13-point lead. On the other end, it's Beal finding Gafford who just drives in it, throws it down. I don't know who he threw it down on, but there was three Knicks in the painted area. He somehow did not go out of bounds at all there. Throws it down. Way to go, Gafford. On the fade, Bradley Beal gets it off the uh, patented pick and roll or pick and pop with Porzingis. The other end, Brunson answers right back with his own fade from the top of the key. As we now look for another answer, it's Morris bringing up the ball. He will look, dribble around on Brunson. He runs to the left, right. He finds Porzingis. Pump fakes, goes to the post. Avia tries to set a screen. Step back for Porzingis. What a move. 
a nice bucket there for Porzingis, who only has four points coming into this quarter right now, or coming into this half. Bradley Beal off the pick. He drives in and throws it down. And one as he posterizes R.J. Barrett in the paint. Was not ready for that one right there. Porzingis on the next possession will get an easy layup. We're going to again on R.J. Barrett. And it's now a six-point game for Washington, or for New York. Washington has cut the lead down, though, to about half. Manuel quickly, though, will qu quickly get fouled there. He'll go two for two. Now it's a 10-point game, 64-54. Barton pick and roll finds Bradley Beal. And he gets pushed out of bounds by Emmanuel quickly. But you'll see here, Daniel Gafford. What a week he was having coming into this game. I was not ready to see that. He continued to play well here. He gives up the alley-oop to Mitchell Robinson, though, to make it a 12-point game. On the other end, Bradley Beal finds Porzingis a little midi there. Porzingis is going to hit it. He now has eight, as he only had four coming into the quarter, or two coming into the quarter, I think, actually. On the other end, Mitchell Robinson, easy pick and roll with R.J. Barrett. Keeping this game out of reach, 13 points. They find Josh Green in the paint for his first bucket. Keeping it now as an 11-point game. Achimura brings up the ball, finds Will Barton for three. He knocks it down. It's an 8-point game now as Washington again digs into the lead. Brunson brings up the ball for the Knicks, though, trying to cool us down. And he will drive inside, find Mitchell Robinson. Robinson will hit him back. Gafford is gone. It's back to a 10-point lead. Cut it down after one for two for the free throw line. It is Delvante Graham hitting a wide open three. That was actually a pretty deep three. DeLon Wright will get an open three. He won't hit it, but Gafford will go right back up and hit it for him. He has 12 points in the game so far. He's been having a good game. But right now we're losing. Josh Green corner three. He hits it. It's now a nine-point game. Hachimura now. Pump fakes. He's waiting. He looks for Kisper. Kisper isn't open. He takes it up himself over Obi Toppin and hits it. Good play there from Riachi Mora. And now we go to Gafford in the post on Emmanuel. Quickly, quickly. Wow. And he now has it 14 and 4 right now. Again, Achimura waits for Kisper. Can't get it. Goes to the post. Just misses there. That was the last shot for us at the third. As now the Knicks are looking to get a quick shot off. Two seconds quickly. Deep three. And he's fouled by Josh Green. And Wes Yunsell Jr., he calls for a challenge because he doesn't think that Josh Green touched him. He thought he jumped right by him, not in his landing space at all. But off replay, you'll see he made contact with his arm. And that would be three free throws for Emmanuel Quickly, who would go in and hit all three of them right before the end of the third quarter. What a mental error there by Josh Green. Now giving them a eight-point lead to start the fourth. We go to Bradley Beal and Porzingis pick and roll here. Beal fades and drills it. He has 13th on the night. Cuts the lead down to six. Brunson on the other end, though, quickly answers. Just hitting another midi of his own. I feel like every time Bradley Beal hit a midi, Brunson came right back and hit a midi. Because they had exactly 13 points, and I feel like that's how they scored. Gafford gets the ball here, kicks it over to Porzingis, who then hits a midi at Porzingis. I'm pretty sure has had eight in this half after only having two in the first half. Brunson answers right back, though. Easy midi for him. It's a six, eight point game? Nine point game? No, eight point game. Bad math for me. Post up. They double team. We get Beal wide open for a deep three, and he hits it. Porzingis was getting double teamed in the post, and we just had good ball movement to find the open guy, and it was Bradley Beal, just one of our best players, of course. But Brunson, again, would answer, not with a three, this time with just a two, but he just kept answering. Bradley Beal, I think that's Devontae Graham guarding him. Bradley Beal goes like a drop step. Easy buckets now to five-point game for the Knicks as they call time. Now it's 85-80. to 80. Brunson brings up the ball, trying to extend the lead for the Knicks. He'll go inside, weird floater, but somehow gets it to fall. Jalen Brunson's been having himself a day. Bradley Beal hits the deep midi here. Not the three. I tried to make it a three, but it didn't work. Porzingis somehow gets a steal here, and Barton will go all the way and get the slam. So now it's a three-point game with just about, I think it either said six minutes left. 
Porzingis now. He drives in. He almost loses the ball, but Achimura open for three. He hits it. It's a tie game here as Washington has tied it up. Ian quickly, RJ Barrett just ruined that. They take a two-point lead again. Now Cam Reddish with the ball. He hits the fading midi. He's been having a game. It's now, again, a four-point game here for the Knicks. But Bradley Beal wanted to come back. He finds Monte Morris for three. He'll hit it. It's a one-point game here, 90-91. to With about five minutes left, they go to Beal again. Does the tough layup, misses. Gafford uh, hits the bottom of the backboard because he shacked an MVP, but gets the ball back and lays it in. It's now a one-point lead for the Washington Wizards. Now the Knicks, R.J. Barrett brings it up, finds Mitchell Robinson, goes up, makes the lob. Now it's one-point lead for the Knicks. 230 remaining. It's Bradley Beal going inside, laying it up over Reddish. I'm not going to keep going back and forth saying one-point lead. You get the deal now. Wizards lead. Almost lost, but Reddish gets it back, and he now takes it back for the Knicks. With two minutes left, these teams are going back and forth in one-point games right now. Morris waits and brings it up just past the two-minute mark now as it gets handed off to Bradley Beal. Beal gets the screen. Wide open midi. He fades and greens it. 24 on the night for Bradley Beal as he's been having a great second half or great game all around. Uh, now it's a one-point lead. Wizards have the ball. It's Bradley Beal inside. Gets the layup to fall. Three-point game now. Wizards extend the lead to three. And then Randall cuts it right back down to one with one minute left. But Bradley Beal on fire here in the fourth quarter as he slowly brings it up. He gets a screen from Gafford. He goes fading three. He's got it. And it's a three-point game with 103 remaining. Randall answer quickly. He can't. Porzingis rebound. Brings it up to Bradley Beal who will slow things down. And he will look to call for a screen here from Porzingis. Going for the pick and pop. Beal gets the open paint. He finds Abia on the corner for three. And Abia in and out. It's 36 seconds remaining now. Cam Reddish r runs it up for New York. Cutting is RJ Baird. It's a one point game again. Here, but they're going to quickly try to come up and foul if they need to. But they don't actually foul until about a half court. So, like, five seconds have gone off. And after going one for one, his second one falls. It's 99 to 102. Randall now at the top of the key with about 20 seconds left. He looks, drives inside. Wide open, Jalen Brunson for three. And it's a tie game with 14 seconds left. Morris tried to help in the paint for some reason. And this ball is going to Bradley Beal. Now, 9 seconds left. He calls for the screen. Time cooking down. Down to 5. Beal, open midi. He takes it and drills it. With 3 seconds remaining. Knicks don't have a timeout. Randall's got to go for the full court shot. Hits the rim and that is game. Bradley Beal. Hits the game-winning shot for the Wizards here as they sneak out of the Garden with a 104-102 to win. See, Jalen Brunson had 22 points. R.J. Barrett, 19. Cam Reddish had 16. Hardenstein had 10-9. and 9. Randall did the worst out of everyone with an 8-8. Eight and eight. It was definitely a good game for the Knicks. Bradley Beal took over there in the final quarter, and he won us the game here. See, some other guys shot okay, but not many shots. Avia did not shoot well today. But, man, what a finish to the game here. Uh, Kispert also shot 0 for 6. Yeah, forgot about that part. But you can see the comparisons here. We shot 53% on 33% three-point percentage, but they also did as well. Now we go and simulate, and I decided to simulate up to the trade deadline here. So you'll see a bunch of trades that happen. Next episode will be the trade deadline, and that's where we will make our trades for at the trade deadline if we decide to make any. Uh, you see here we win against the Orlando Magic and Mavericks and the Rockets, so we extended our winning streak to like five, I think, at this point. See other trades going through. Terrence Ross or Caleb Martin just swapping second-round picks. We lose against the Pelicans, which kind of did suck. Caleb Martin for Kendrick Nunn in a second-round pick. Beat the Spurs and we beat the Pistons. We
we had an injury there that I thought was, I guess, a trade, but whatever. I did not accept that trade because it was just a weird trade. Accidentally sent him through the draft there, but you see we're on a four-game winning streak. Just after our five-game winning streak, I declined this trade here for Dennis Smith Jr. And we now play the Cavs, and we beat the Cavs, so we're on another five and make that six-game winning streak right at the trade deadline. I go through all the box scores. See, Beal and Porzingis had 30-point games. Uh, some other guys did all right, not great. And then you'll see their lineup here. I also realized I still have an 11-man lineup. I don't know why. I'm probably going to cut that down sooner rather than later. You see Porzingis this game, though, went 12 for 13 from free throw. Uh, you see the game against the Rockets. Brad Beal had 34. Monte Morris, Porzingis had a double-double off of a rough shooting night. We then cut over to our only loss during the simulation, which was the Pelicans. Beal still had 35. The rest of the team, eh, not really well. Definitely need to get some more minutes for some of the good guys, though, instead of running all these minutes to bad people. We did end up getting another win where Beal scored 30 again. Porzingis, 22-8-7 with three blocks. It's a pretty good game. He had half our team blocks pretty well. Then we, of course, won this game here. Beal had 24, 23, and 10 for him. Uh, Porzingis, sorry. Porzingis then got 26. This was Beal's worst scoring game so far. And you'll see the rest of the stats. I can't really commentate. My throat is gone right now, so I'm just going to end the video soon. But thank you all for watching this episode of the Wizards franchise. I don't have my mic right now, so I'm using my remote mic. So sorry if that was rough to listen to. But thank you all for watching. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later. I'm out. Peace.